as the disciples were gazing up towards heaven, angels appeared unto them and said, This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. This is your daily devotional, Maranatha, the Lord is coming. Maranatha, a daily devotional by Ellen G. White. All our treasures for God. Freely ye have received, freely give. Matthew chapter 10 verse 8. All that men receive of God's bounty still belongs to God. Whatever he has bestowed in the valuable and beautiful things of earth is placed in our hands to test us to sound the depths of our love for him and our appreciation of his favours. Whether it be the treasures of wealth or of intellect, they are to be laid a willing offering at the feet of Jesus. In commissioning his disciples to go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature, Christ assigned to men the work of extending the knowledge of his grace. But while some go forth to preach, he calls upon others for offerings with which to support his cause in the earth. Not all can make large offerings, not all can do great works, magnificent deeds, but all can practice self-denial, all can reveal the unselfishness of the Saviour. Some can bring large gifts, to the Lord's treasury, others can bring only mites, but every gift brought in sincerity is accepted by the Lord. Many would be surprised to see how much could be saved for the cause of God by acts of self-denial. The small sum saved by deeds of sacrifice will do more for the upbuilding of the cause of God then larger gifts will accomplish that have not called for denial of self. The spirit of liberality is the spirit of heaven. Christ's self-sacrificing love is revealed upon the cross that man might be saved. He gave all that he had and then gave himself. The cross of Christ appeals to the benevolence of every follower of the blessed Saviour. The principle there illustrated is to give, give. The principle of worldlings is to get, get. The light of the gospel shining from the cross of Christ rebukes selfishness. Many of God's people are in danger of being ensnared by worldliness and convictuousness. They should understand that it is his mercy that multiplies the demands for their means. He thus makes man the medium through which to distribute his blessings on earth. God's plan, the system of benevolence in order that man might become like his creator, benevolent and unselfish in character, and finally be partakers with Christ of the eternal, glorious reward. <music>